What? Four barracks on the way up for Gogo, so it looks like we're going to be seeing um, some biomech, and this is freaking bizarre. I have not seen this in um, quite some time. I don't know quite what to expect from this. We saw something like this in a recent game between um, 4GG and Much, and I'm not going to spoil the result of that one, but it was um, pretty crazy, and um, seeing Medic Marine in versus Protoss after the... well, seeing Medics in versus Protoss at all is shocking. Seeing it um, after about the... seeing infantry being produced after about the seventh minute of the game is shocking. Um, this game is taking a turn for the weird, and um, Gogo had better know what he's doing with this, because there are a lot of things that can go wrong here. Um, Storm eats infantry alive, for one thing, and Bisu's already going to be researching that pretty soon if he isn't already. Um, one benefit is there aren't going to be any Reavers, um, which are also pretty good against infantry, but um, this Observer is going to um, have a chance to spot this out if it, um, if it can find a gap in Gogo's turret coverage. So far there isn't any and Bisu is still in the dark to the um, Medic Marine plus tank force that is looking like it's going to be on the way. Stargate's going up, so it looks like Bisu is going to go for a um, fast two-base Arbiters. There's the Arbiter Tribunal going up, so this is um, this is looking like it's going to be a tech rush versus a, um, a timing push for Gogo, who is um, apparently starting to move out of his base. This is going to be really interesting. At the moment, Gogo is going to have the larger army because he's had his um, production buildings, um, his production buildings out for longer. There are more gateways on the way up. Um, Bisu sank his resources into tech, so he's going to have the smaller army. Um, DTs um, have been able to spot this attack coming and see that it's this infantry tank timing push, but. Um, the only question now is going to be whether Bisu is going to um, have and be able to mobilize the forces to fend this off. Um, Medic Marines are actually pretty effective against Dragoons. It's just the, um, the higher tech units that um, just really eat them alive. Storm and Reavers um, are devastating against um, against M and M, but um, it looks like the um, this attack force has managed to push the. Um, Dragoon Force back, and now it looks like um, a turret is going up, and it's going to be a hard push setting up for a um, two-base containment right outside of Bisu's natural, and um, probably Gogo is going to be able to push in and start laying siege to that pretty soon. Bisu still looking cool under fire here, but um, he's being forced to pull his probes and throw them into the fight or retreat them back to his main, so he is... Um, he's surrendering his natural right now, unless he's going to have the units to do something about this. And Gogo is building a command center in Bisu's natural. Bisu GG's. Wow, um, that is Gogo's signature bad manner move, building the command center in the opponent's base. Um, Bisu looking a little bit put off by that. Um, Gogo stealing... I wouldn't say stealing a win, but... Um, Taking a win and riling up the crowd, but um, as well as um, delivering a little in your face to Bisu, who is looking pretty calm and collected, though he can't be especially happy about that, especially with the um, with the added humiliation tactic thrown in there at the end. Um, that was, I don't think, a timing attack that Bisu could have really seen coming, um, and it was undeniably an effective one. Gogo posing there, look at me, what a badass I am, he must be thinking to himself, um, although he is um, looking startlingly tentative for someone who's just beaten the top Protoss player in the world, um, risky attack or not. Um, Bisu's um, early DT choice just didn't work out for him, I don't know exactly why, um, why he chose to do that, I mean, admittedly, fast DTs into two-base Arbiters is an option, but um, 
it seems like it is risky, and um, fast arbiter going for fast arbiters does open you up to a timing push. Um, maybe Bisu thought that it would have been a more mechanical army-based timing push, and the dragoons that he had would have been much more effective against vultures than they were against medic marines. It's just hard to say what the exact factor there was. Bisu heading off stage, um, having some photographs taken. Um, Sharing a hug and a handshake with Gogo, that's surprisingly sportsmanlike given what happened, but um, I imagine Kespa would um, stomp down pretty hard on him if he just punched Gogo in the face, which um, I'd have to wonder if he's actually tempted into doing. Um, I know a lot of StarCraft fans, given the, uh, the opportunity to do it repercussion-free, would uh, gladly haul off and punch him in the face, but um, Visu's seems to be um, seems to be a lot calmer than that. He has a lot of sang froid. He doesn't seem to react emotionally to anything. Um, so GG, a couple of surprising upsets in this OSL round of 16 so far. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.